Hello everyone, welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. Last time, we did some more social ink. This time, we will do the uh, advancement uh, test. Yeah, that's what they're called, I think. In my country, they're just called ending exams, but... Yeah. Anyway, Visa should be available again. I really want to get the end to the end of her social link to get her second and possibly also third awakening. I but even though I doubt that that will happen. Because well I haven't done been that diligent with my social links. Which suck, but oh well. Anyway, it's voice acted, so I'll shut my, um, myself now. Oh, it's just an SD. Never mind then. Welcome back. Um, not much I can do. All I can do or just, is just uh, translate, I guess, for some money. Um. That sucks. Only got half the money. Oh well. We have this now, so yeah. Oh. Hey, you can go. Um, I'm with you there. Alpha and Beta Um Um Attendance logs Yay Very demons. Um, Dosso. Yay. Brain freeze. I guess it's this. Damn it. I don't necessarily remember everything, so yeah. A tree. So you get the cat, the rabbit. Um, turnips. Yeah. This is great. I, I uh, only failed once so far. And I'm not looking anything up on a guide or something. That's right. Um, human blood, yeah right. Sahara Desert Sand. And I think this is one without qu a day without questions, because it's just the rest. Oh! Morning. Yes. Um, I'm worried too. I suck at skiing. We were going to ski with my class, um, if uh, COVID didn't happen 
in school. But to say the least, I'm lucky that didn't happen. And I feel really confident, confident about my answers. That's amazing. But yeah, I, I don't really like skiing. You're back. Oh. I thought there was going to be a cutscene. I guess not. Anime cutscene. Snowboarding? Just gotta keep your balance, right? Whoa! <laughs> Senpai! You're too fast! You gotta open up your stance, do you get it? Come on! It's... it's easier said than... Huh? Whoa! Damn, that hurt! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you, huh? you owe me a You ski down the slopes with a, a number of time, enjoying the time with your friends. Yeah, that was a nice anime cutscene. Hey, what Oop. do you think of my snowboarding skills? Whew. We've been down this slope a bunch of times now. Well, yeah. Hey, what do you think of my snowboarding skills? I bet you're head over heels with them. Well, yeah, but only because we were falling down all the time. Teddy kept crashing into me. It's not fair that Kanji gets to keep skiing with Nao-chan. I'm completely against one-on-one -on -one personal lessons. So you were doing it on purpose, you bastard! You guys are completely ignoring my lines, huh? So this was your first time skiing, Nao-chan? How was it? I can barely even stand upright. Kanji-kun is teaching me, but it's not going as I'd hoped. I keep going in the wrong direction or falling over without warning. I hope I do a little better tomorrow. You don't look it, but you really don't like losing, do you? Should we go up one more time? What? I'm too tired. My legs are giving out on me. My fur's all frozen too. I feel like Frosty the Snow Bear. We've got tomorrow too, so let's call it a day. Aren't you hungry, Chie? Didn't even notice it until now. I'm super hungry. What are we having for dinner at the lodge? I think soul cooked in non-regional style. That non-regional part caught my attention. So it's a non-style style? What is that supposed to taste like? I think you would only call it something like that if you weren't all that confident about your food. I doubt the chefs would appreciate hearing that from you guys. That's so mean! I remember you yelling about how delicious that cake we made was. I wasn't yelling! And that cake was only good because Naoto helped you. That's 
not true. It was thanks to the cookbook. I don't care which it was. And you guys should have been using a cookbook in the first place. There's something more important at hand right now. Soul is a fish, right? What about some real meat? Meat! How much of a carnivore are you? I don't think I saw any real meat dishes on the menu. No beef? Or pork? Or even chicken? She's got a point. And considering how much we've been skiing, I could use something with a lot of protein. Meat. Has the day finally come that you all want a little taste of Teddy? No, we'd never do that. Bear meat is pretty gamey after all. You're so cruel, Yuki-chan! Is Teddy still in the bathhouse? We saw these college girls while we were having dinner. He said he was gonna hold out in the bath until they showed up. Sheesh, what's he up to now? You say that, but I bet you wish you were there with him right now, don't you? What? That's the worst. Wouldn't you rather spend time with us? I mean, me rather than people like that, senpai? Dude, how awesome is it that we all get to stay overnight like this? And it's co-ed! So why don't we... What did we say just, say just now? Um... Oh yeah, Visa is getting jealous again. <laughs> Typical Visa. Um, but yeah. Anyway. No. But I didn't suggest anything yet! Sorry, were you gonna say play cards? Why don't we go night skiing? I've always been impressed by people who can do that. Then we'd have to take another bath afterwards. Honestly, I'm already exhausted from snowboarding all day. Then why don't we do what people usually do when they get together at night? Tell ghost stories. I don't know. Isn't that usually a summer thing? Yeah, um, I think I'll have to disagree too. Huh? Could it be that you're actually scared of ghost stories? Stuff like in those stories actually happens in the mountains. That one time during shooting was enough for me. What? Stop it! Oh, our inn has a lot of spooky stuff, too. Once, we asked a customer how he liked his room, and he said the restroom was too dark. But his room didn't have one. And sometimes, when you take pictures in that room during Obon, they don't come out right. Whoa, that's pretty creepy. Oh, and I heard that Haniwa are occasionally found in the mountains around here. They say this entire area could have been a grave site long ago. Folklore has little valid scientific evidence, but is a result of cultural significance and strong story elements. Any ancient burial ground is likely just the site of a t t temple. So, um. Now, though, is scared and it's the cutest thing ever. I love it. You're scared too? Yes. This is starting to get pretty good. How are you in scary stories? This is actually my thoughts on scary stories. Wait, seriously? Well, I'm not gonna lie. I sometimes get a little spooked. There's nothing to freak out over. I think. I can't believe you guys! I'm having no part of this! I'm plugging my ears! Would it be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that? Shut up, Moranji! Why are you pushing so hard for us to tell ghost stories? You stop calling me that, damn it! Well, I'll start off then. Yukiko can go last. Her stories are off the charts creepy. 
Let's see. It was over three years ago. A friend of mine in middle school told me this. It seems his sister went to a pretty prestigious private school, but she ended up running with the wrong crowd. Supposedly, she and a bunch of other girls were bullying another girl in their class. He said that she'd come home every night and laugh over the phone with her friends about the kid they were harassing. One day, she suddenly came home with a pale face. Ever since then, she started locking herself up in her room. No matter how much he asked what was going on, she'd completely ignore him. But he could hear her mumbling. She'd keep saying to herself, It's my turn next. My friend got worried, so he went to ask his sister's friends what was going on. But it turns out, all her friends had passed out for mysterious reasons and had been taken to the hospital. He was so scared that he didn't know what to do. That night, at around 11.30, suddenly his sister started screaming in her room. He ran into her room, and she was covering her ears and repeating, She's calling me! I can hear her! But my friend couldn't hear anything. And soon, his sister rushed out of the house. The next morning, she was found unconscious outside the school gates, just like her friends had been. In the end, she was taken to the hospital and recovered. But when he asked the people at school what happened, it seems the girl they were bullying was dead. They said that the girl must have become a spirit that haunted them one by one. That's impossible. Your story is full of inconsistencies. Wait, but I think I've actually read a police report like that. That's not denying it. You're supporting it. Wait, did she die? Well, I think she turned up okay. Well, that doesn't matter. That wasn't bad for a leadoff, right? Well, you're next. What do you have in mind? Um, I can't do this. It doesn't have to be all that scary. I'm sure you know at least one. Say whatever you want as long as it's scary. It's gonna be okay. No, it's not okay! Everyone is hanging out your every voice. You can't get them down. You decide to tell them a story you know. It sounds realistic when you tell it. So? So? And then? He woke up in a blue room. Come on, this isn't a ghost story anymore, is it? It's just a story about someone being kidnapped. What was that? I heard something. I heard something just now. That was unusual. It, it's just our imaginations. Anyway, keep going. You can't just end it here. That'd be even scarier. Um... A creepy man with a long nose, always saying, Welcome to the Velvet Room. I'm, I'm not going to impersonate you, Gore. Whoa, that's freaky. Something about a nose that long? Ah! Uh, uh, blackout? Oh shit, something just went past me! Hang on! Where's the switch? How dare you to think you're eating all the snacks while I'm gone? I'm gonna curse you! Also, I realized that story Narukami was telling was about the Velvet Room. Also, Teddy, please. Don't do that. Get him? Yeah, let's finish him off. I'm sorry, Teddy. Only people have human rights. <gasps> Babes! What's come over you? Why are you so mad at me? So it was Teddy. Damn it, he freaked us all out. And, and? What happened after that?
Time to hit the snow! Someone's full of energy. You guys were up talking all last night, too. How do you know about that? Don't tell me. It's no surprise that they heard you, considering how loud you were. I told you over and over, the walls were thin. Uh, oh, so that's all. I thought he might have been peeping. We were talking about some pretty risque stuff in there. Sorry, Kanji. Did you get a nosebleed all over your pillow? Shut up. Who'd want to listen to you hens clucking all night anyway? I think I would. Just a little. I may have done a little listening. I heard things about Nao-chan's size and Yuki-chan's shape. Stop lying, Ted! We didn't talk about anything like that! Wait, what about my shape? Have I changed somehow? You're letting him get to you. You're being manipulated. Jeez, forget about it. Let's just enjoy our day skiing. Let's go, senpai! Hold it right there. R Risei san don't you think you're being a little too... You know, you've been hogging the same ski partner way too much? Huh? But it works out so nicely. You and Yosuke-senpai are both on snowboards. Teddy and Yukiko-senpai keep taking the steep slopes and won't slow down for me. And Kanji seems to want to be with Naoto-kun. Hey, what are you getting at? So, it's only natural that I'd pair up with Senpai yesterday. He and I will take it slow. You don't have to worry about me. Come on, Senpai! Let's go! Her logic is 100% ironclad! Showbiz people have amazing ways of persuading people. Why are you impressed? Ahem. <clears throat> the, the reason we're on this trip is for all of us to make some good memories of spending time with Senpai. In other words, we should all be trying to have some skiing time with him. Crap, you're right. You're right! Exactly, Nato. So, back off, Rise, you freaking simp. I want to make memories with Senpai, too! Sometimes when you say things, I wonder if you have some hidden agenda behind them. Then I'm not snowboarding today. I'm switching to skis. Hey, that's no fair. I want to leave my ski tracks of love with Sensei too. Um, hey! Why don't we let Senpai decide for himself? Be honest and just make the call. Everyone's staring you at so... You at so... Seeing everyone staring at you so hopefully hurts. Sec, everyone. I don't like where this is headed. Some of you sound like you're out for blood. Let's all enjoy the slopes together, okay? Th that would be best. I concur. <sighs> Thanks for not answering before I could get that under control. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this will be hilarious. Choose me? I'd be too afraid for my life to enjoy any of the skiing. Uh, well, let's go enjoy the slopes. You plan to make another fun day as well. Today, today a fun day as well. Sorry, I I can't read apparently. Everyone is enjoying. Kanji is helping Nato practice. I didn't think there was anything you weren't good at, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Do you think you're ready to start going for real? No. Not at all. Quit freaking out about it. Open up your legs and point your toes in or else you're gonna speed up. Come on, keep your balance with your knees. B but if I stand with my feet further apart, I I'll fall down for sure. Like I keep saying, you'll be fine. Even if you do slide down, I'll catch you. You're so nice, Kanji. You never said anything like that to me. I already know how to ski. I don't have to teach you. 
Well, if I ever do need someone to teach me, I definitely want someone nice like Senpai to do it. Right, Senpai? Nope, not doing it. They're doing that today too? It's more like falling than skiing. Maybe they just don't know how to stop? Well, they ain't dead yet, so I guess they can stop somehow. <laughs> It's Chie Senpai and Yosuke Senpai. Yoo hoo! Those two are looking good. I'm so jealous that they can snowboard. People who are good at it can look so cool. But I'm definitely more into skiing with you right now, Senpai. I feel bad that we're in other people's way, so shall we get going? Please, wait! Can you stay with me until I reach the bottom? I have no idea which way I'll end up going. Okay, last one there's a rotten egg. See you at the bottom. Wait, weren't you listening? I can't turn or stop. Don't worry, someone's going to be there to catch you. Right, Kanji? Huh? That's what... Um, right! <laughs> I'll catch Nato. Uh, um, well then, I'll be counting on you. Jeez, you're too nervous, Nato kun. You just need to ski straight. What the hell's he doing now? He's not even wearing skis! I think I'm going to walk. And time passes. Something interesting should happen today. Or this night at least. The sun is going to be setting soon. Should you ask someone to accompany you down the slope? Yes. Going to ask now though. Because of course. are more tired than I thought. I thought I'd have learned to not fall down anymore, but I must be tensing my legs too much. I'm sorry, you must hate having a total beginner holding you back like this. I've always been able to pick up new skills when they become necessary, but I've never had to ski before. Murder mysteries may take place in snowy mountain retreats and novels, but it's not that often in real life. Cutting a telephone line in a mountain cottage during a blizzard is obviously suicidal, too. <sighs> I wonder how long it's been since I last tried so hard to just have fun. I used to think that these frivolities were a waste of time. That they wouldn't make me any better of a person. <laughs> Though thinking back on it, I have to laugh. I was all alone then. I want to come back here again. Um, let's make it just us next time. That's fine. I'm sure it would, um, increase the efficiency of practice. Mmm. No, I wouldn't be able to focus on practicing at all. Shall we start heading back? The snow's starting to fall quite heavily. Which way should we be headed to get back to the lodge? Oh, well... I thought I was simply following you today, so I wasn't checking on our course. Um, I, f I think it's left. You don't sound very confident. But then again, I'm sure we'll get somewhere as long as we stick to the ski course. We should leave soon then. I can't go very fast after all. Visibility is low and let's somehow make our way to the garage. We can do it now though. And if not, we'll have a cute moment together before we die.
Raj is still nowhere to be seen. Oop. There's um, no. Is this really the right way? The snow seems to seems to be coming down even harder now. It's not that I don't believe you, but I feel that we've already been past this area. Could it be that we're lost? I don't want to admit it though. This is a problem. The snow could be concealing small rivers or cliffs beneath us. I don't think we should be walking around aimlessly. Actually, I'm reaching my limits. Let's take a snow hut. <sighs> That's impossible. The snow's too soft. It needs to at least set for a night. Huh? Look! Isn't that a cottage? Thank goodness. Even if that place is empty, there should be things there. We may be able to get ourselves warm. Let's go check it out. Excuse me, is anyone here? There's no answer. Mm. It was unlocked. I wonder why, though. Some places don't use padlocks because they've been known to freeze shut in extreme conditions. Let's just consider ourselves lucky for now. Not always anxious. Are you scared? About it not being locked? True, that does sometimes lead to crime or assaults, but we should be all right. I don't suspect anyone is here. If there was, it would be warmer in here. Um, do you happen to have your cell phone? I tried making numerous calls while we were lost, and my phone's battery has run out. You do have your phone. If there's a signal, you may be able to call for help. The screen reads no service. It seems there's no signal here. This is a problem. Could all the snow be disrupting the signal? The blizzard isn't calming down either. I doubt it will last long, considering the weather here in the mountains. But this still isn't good. We may be indoors, but the cold is a very real threat. <sighs> b by the way, um, warming each other with our bodies would be ineffective in our case. That only works when your clothes are wet. Or one person's body temperature has been significantly lowered. Uh... Right. No one asked for details. Sorry. But on a more serious note, we do need to find a way to warm ourselves, or we'll be in trouble. Anyway, she's so cute. Yeah, I, I really think she's cute. On closer inspection, this sunken hearth uses charcoal and not firewood. Thank goodness. If we can get some ventilation in this room, we'll be able to use this. Now we need something to start a fire, but a place like this should have some tools available. <sighs> it seems we won't have to worry for the time being. Ah, Prometheus. Thank you for fire. This is, well, a more effective way to get warm. We can't let any last bit of heat go to waste, after all. <laughs> Where could we be? I thought that we'd been walking towards the lodge. Even once the blizzard settles, it's risky to walk around in the mountains at night. It seems we have no choice but to stay here. Mm. Strange. We're in quite a pinch, but some part of me is actually enjoying this. All alone with another, stuck in a mountain cottage for an entire night. <laughs> Yikes. I think this feeling is referred to as the suspension bridge effect. Senpai? Um... That turned on right now, correct? Why? 
That's very creepy. But yeah, I, I, I still think she's cute. This is also why I was anticipating this ski trip. Because you will have a moment like this with your girlfriend. So yeah, that's great. Oh, it's a choice. Um, I'll go take a look. Huh? Oh, thank you. Wait, no, I'll go too. We need to find out what happened. Whoa, Senpai? What are you doing? That... You should stop doing that. I, I mean, this is hardly an ideal location to be trying this. Stop! Before you go too deep! What are you guys doing? This isn't that kind of mystery, Detective Prince! Stop! It's just an incredibly romantic situation up on a ski trip! Don't give in! Anyway, I, my mic was muted while talking, I'm sorry about that, but the, these three sentences do make it sound very weird. They're still dressed. Why would they take off their clothes in this freezing weather? And dude, why are you guys so flustered? What is up with you guys? Also, Kanji is innocent. Kanji-kun? Now, John, were you waiting for an audience? Huh, how shameless. You don't have to prove yourself to anyone. But okay, I'll take a front row seat and... I, I'm having a hard time understanding what you're trying to get at. You came to rescue us, correct? Actually, since when were you all outside? Don't tell me you've been here the entire time. No, I mean... Not on purpose. It would have been awkward to interrupt before, but... So, you're saying that you were spying on us. Hey, we came because we were worried about you. More to the point, what are the two of you doing in here? We needed to examine this TV here in greater detail. The TV? Why? It's not plugged in. Come on, guys. Don't try that lame excuse on us. That is not an excuse. It's the truth. Senpai attempted to go inside the television and... Why are you looking at me like that? Everyone is staring. You desperately explained what happened just now. I'm curious too myself. Huh. So you got lost, found this building, and then things started heating up. I meant with the TV, not getting lost and... Finding the building. Obviously, we've seen that. You obviously aren't listening to what we're trying to tell you. The TV turned itself on even though it isn't plugged in. Since the Midnight Channel is no more, we need to investigate. There's no way we'd risk ourselves to come to this stupid little shack just out of some impure motives. But this building is right behind the lodge, though. We were told that it's a storage shed. They don't lock it because workers come here often during the day. And it's not like there's a blizzard or anything. Maybe you just saw a reflection from the ski lights or something. That's impossible. Then again, I don't think Naoto-kun would lie about something like this. And since we're all here, we might as well check out this TV. Hey, wait a sec.
My. <laughs> Excuse me. Please forgive the slightly impolite invitation. Whoa. She's beautiful. Now's not the time for gawking. I think she's the one who grabbed me. Who is she? You know her? Yeah, she's a friend of sorts. Friend? What type of friend is she? You got one mysterious life. Forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. We meet for the first time. My name is Margaret. I am a helper on this young man's journey. I meant you no harm. Um, well, can we trust her? Of course. I see. Do you remember? I have come to fulfill my promise. You mean about Marie? Yes. I have come to guide you. I apologize for the amount of time it required me to prepare. This is the Hollow Forest, the closed realm, created by her in the TV world, the world of the human mind. It would seem that after Marie left us, she shut herself in here. Why? I do not know everything, but as you know, she was searching for her memory, and by opening her heart to you, she finally regained that memory. It would seem that what she found was not what she had been hoping for. Whoa, hold on. What is this all about? Marie? You mean Marie-chan? The one who was with you? I remember her! That fashionable girl with the hat, right? What do you mean, she's here? And what was that about her memory? Everyone is worried. What should you do? Uh, I'm going to explain her. Lost her memory and that she's currently missing. Emi-chan has amnesia? We are inside the TV right now, correct? A missing person ending up in the TV. Tell me... I mean, we put an end to all that. I do not think this is the same situation. I believe Marie's disappearance is unrelated to the kidnapping incident you all were following. She was not taken away by someone. Rather, she came here of her own volition. She willingly came here. Does that mean Marie's son has the persona ability as well? No, Marie is originally a resident of this side. What kind of girl were you showing around town? Hold on, this is inside the TV, right? Then, aren't there shadows in here? You're kidding me. That means... Marie is in danger. He's right. If she were to be attacked by shadows, I will not say that she is not in danger. However, the same goes for you. If you are to proceed ahead and search for Marie, you must have adequate resolution. Is that why you brought my friends? The path ahead will be relentless. You alone will not be able to reach her. If you wish to see her again, then it is my role to help you. And to do so, I decided to invite everyone who has accompanied you on your journey here. I see. I was wondering why you didn't bring just our leader here. Now I understand. You're giving us all the information and letting us choose what to do from here. You aren't here to stop us. Exactly. One more thing. Well, this isn't going to affect whether or not I plan to help, but... You are also like Marie-san, a resident of this side? The human mind contains more than shadows. I believe you all witnessed that in your last battle.
are you talking about those things that came out of Namatame and Adachi-san? Well, they were different from the shadows we know about. It does not matter how you choose to interpret it. What you see and what you believe are up to you. I know that you can supply yourselves with answers, as I know that you have been capable of coming this far. One more thing. As I just said, the Hollow Forest was originally a closed realm. It is not the case now, but in time, this place will seal itself again. In other words, we can't come in and out of here forever? Exactly. It would seem that little time remains before the Hollow Forest completes itself. Once that time has passed, this place will be closed forever, and you will never be able to visit here again. If that happens, Marie's existence will be entirely expunged from your memories. We'll lose our memories? Hey, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, she's just gonna up and vanish from our heads? Tell me more. It is exactly as I said. The closing of this forest marks the fact of Marie's erasure. Any memories you have of Marie will disappear, and you will return to your peaceful days. No! This doesn't make sense! I merely have come to fulfill my promise. What you do is up to you. I have made a link from the television in the mountain cabin to this world. That is the only conduit through which you may reach this place. Huh? So we can't get here through the TV and Juness? Exactly. This world and your world's screens are linked place to place. It is a fact. Hmm. I can't smell the other places from here. It really isn't connected. I am repeating myself, but it was Marie who shut herself in this world. There is no need for you to think that you must risk your lives for her. I am sure she would not wish that either. Please, treasure the normal lives you have. That is what Marie would want. Now, if you would excuse me. Hey, hey, wait! Uh, please? It's a TV. The same type as the one in the cabin. This must be the exit, like the ones Teddy has. So now what? What else? That Marie chick is in here, right? If she's in danger of being attacked by shadows, then we've got to get in there and find her. Hold on. It might not be that simple. Let us leave for now, at any rate. We cannot blindly run ahead so suddenly. Yeah. Plus, we're totally not prepared, right? If we're gonna do it, let's get ready and take this on full force! Ow! Ugh, who was pushing me? Shut it. There's eight of us and it's a tiny frickin' TV. Oh! I dented my head in. Anybody wanna touch it? Uh, no. What are you guys clowning around for? Come on, get up! We got a meeting to hold! We do? What are we gonna talk about? Oh, uh, I don't know. But we always have one, right? I guess she just wanted to be the one to say it. Yeah, it would really mess with my head if Chia-senpai was coming up with good plans. Shut up! That's rude, you know! Still, that was a surprise. You know that whole Marie being from the other side thing? Wait, so the TV world is the world of the human mind, huh? It's not really sinking in, though. I couldn't even tell. There wasn't a chance to explain. <laughs> no one's complaining, man. If you tried introducing her like, oh, she's from another world, the question mark above my head could be seen from orbit. The issue here is Marie-san's motive. 
Why would she risk her life to shut herself in a place like that? I could see it if she was thrown in like we were, but why would she do that to herself? Um, memory is the key. Yeah, that blue chick did say Marie lost her memory. Maybe she remembered something that made her do that. Hey, I just thought of something. If the world she's in closes, she'll disappear from our memories, right? Isn't that the same as dying? Well, wait, you mean sh she's trying to... I, I don't know, but it just feels that way to me. She wants to kill herself and make us forget about her? She's erasing her own existence? I think... Emmy-chan's like me. I was really worried when I couldn't figure out who I was. When I finally found out I was a shadow, it was traumatizing. I don't think Emmy-chan's a shadow, but I think she feels the same way I did. That she shouldn't exist. Teddy. The atmosphere is heavy. What should you do? I need your help. Senpai, you're right. I can kind of understand how she feels. Not having anyone know the real you, being alone all the time. Even when someone's friendly to you, you feel like there's something wrong. If I didn't meet all of you, I might have thought the same as her. Same shit with me. I was always being misunderstood, so I toughened up and started biting back. I was scared that no one would accept the real me if I ever showed it to them. In the end, couldn't even admit it when I was showing myself. <laughs> Pointless. Yeah, we're all like that. Everybody's suffering in some way. Yes, but we were able to change. No matter how much we hated ourselves, we were able to face it and accept it. Because we had dear friends. Yeah, I know now. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're the only ones that can save Marie-chan. If she's really thinking the same way we were, we have to go stop her. That's that, then. We should find out exactly what we're getting into first. It's better to know anything than to go in knowing nothing. It'll at least make things easier on us. We should devote a day to it. Teddy, Risei-san, can you scan that world? From the usual spot, of course. The rest of us should rest up to prepare for the exploration. If there are shadows in there, then we can't avoid fighting them. All right, let's do this! <laughs> oh, this takes me back. Even though it hasn't been that long since we finished the other stuff. Yeah, all right. It's super sniffy time together with Risei-chan. <laughs> My super ultra mega hyper uber teddy nose can pick up even the slightest scent. But this skill is not without its drawbacks. After three minutes, I get just an ungodly amount of snot. Ew! Hey, don't damage the bear before showtime. At least he's actually useful in a fight. How rude! What do you mean, at least? Let's regroup at school, okay? Your friends are thinking back to the, the way things used to be. And there isn't much, much time. Yeah. We need to find Marie. And we will return home. Also, I think this video has gone like over an hour. Oh, no, well, over an hour. Well, over an hour now. Read this call. Alright, just, just a few more cutscenes, and, yeah. It's cold. Oh well, let's start the meeting. First, allow me to report. Just in case, I've checked for missing people in the local jurisdiction to see if anyone may have wandered in there. Zero results. There are no missing person requests either. It seems that this place really doesn't have anything to do with our previous case. Hey, no fair! You said to rest and yet you went and did research. 
but I went and checked the newspaper, too. I looked for any news of missing people, but there wasn't any. I also tried asking our suppliers and customers if there was anything going on, but there aren't any rumors. Ditto. I asked around at work, but didn't come up with anything. Can't underestimate the housewife network. Yeah, I tried talking with some former punks, but didn't get Jack. Considering that none of us could find evidence, perhaps it's safe to say that no one has wandered in accidentally. But more important is whatever Teddy and Rise-san found. How did your search go? I can feel that hollow forest really far away, but that's it. I couldn't sense Emi-chan's presence at all. That place, it's big. I'm glad we didn't just jump in there without making sure we were ready for it. The hollow forest, huh? Is that place also affected by the mind of the person inside? If that's the case, then did Marie-chan make that area? Hollow Forest. We heard that phrase before. In the last battle, right? I was wondering the same thing. Amano Sagiri mentioned it. The place that gave birth to those who answer the desires and wishes for lies of humans. Was that it? Hold on. Are you saying that the image in Marie-chan's mind is the same forest that created that monster? What's going on here? The hell? Who is she exactly? Our objective is to save her, but it doesn't seem like things will end there. If she is related to those monsters, then we need to do more research. What is she trying to do? Who is she really? It seems we have no choice but to go see her and find the truth directly from her. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it! Whoever she is, we're not letting her die like this. That's right! I'm burning up! Arrgh! Right, let's do it. We don't know what she's bummed about, but we'll save her. Everyone's hearts have come together. What should I do? Oh. I... Wait a sec! If I come and save Emichan, that's like an arrow straight through the heart, right? What should I do? I'm not ready for this. Dude, I can't tell if you're being a creeper or not. We're right here. We can get to that whole hollow forest by entering this TV. Let's hurry up and jump in there. Then, that place is gonna get closed off soon, right? Yeah. It's uh, tomorrow, so you have to go today. Alright, let's enter. I won't do this in this episode, eh? I've been recording for one and a half hours now. I need to get something to drink. Huh, it's snowing. Oh, you're right. This is. This isn't snow. The flower petals. Listen to my voice. My shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. I am the little mermaid, unable to return, the little mermaid. Fader to foam, the little mermaid. Is that Marie-chan's voice? Sounds so sad. She does. And we'll re rescue her in next episode. And yeah, goodbye. Okay, uh, this video is just under an, under an hour.